Hi, welcome to Cooking on the Quad. I'm Joel. And I'm Annie. And today we're making Thanksgiving sides and pies. So I'm going to make asparagus in the microwave and roasted sweet potatoes. And I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin pie. So let's get cooking. Let's do it. So to prepare the asparagus, take a piece of asparagus and snap it. And wherever it breaks normally, then you put it up with the rest of the bunch in a microwave safe dish. A quarter cup of water, teaspoon of grated lemon zest, half teaspoon of salt, and the juice of half a lemon. We're gonna microwave these for three to four minutes. You know they're done when they're tender on the top, but they're not quite floppy. This looks perfect. We are going to begin making our pie crust. I have two and one quarter cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And just whisk all of that together, and then you're going to start incorporating your butter. This is 14 tablespoons of unsalted butter, cube up pretty small. I'm just sort of pinching the cubes of butter. The key to pie crust is having all of your ingredients cold. So this butter, I chopped it up earlier, and then I put it into the freezer for about half an hour. Okay, so you just wanna break up the butter into the flour until it looks like a coarse meal. I'm going to take a tablespoon of cold apple cider vinegar, and then we're gonna do about five to eight tablespoons of ice cold water. I'll start mixing that in. So you can tell when it's ready, if you kind of ball it together, it'll stick together. So this looks pretty good. So then just pound your dough into a round disc. That'll make rolling it out later easier. Put your pie dough into the refrigerator and leave it there to rest for at least two hours. We're going to just flour our work surface. And then just from the center, just start pushing out to the edges. You can turn it, do whatever you need to do so that it turns into a circle, not a rectangle. And you can see how the edges are starting to crack a little bit. That's okay, just kind of patch them together. And then to see if it's large enough, you can just take your pie pan and put it on there and see that you have at least about an inch and a half or so on all the edges. And then just pull up your pie dough. And then just push the dough into the edges of the pan. So trim your crust so you have about a half inch overhang. So with the extra dough, just sort of fold it under. And there's lots of different ways that you can um, decorate your rim. I'm just going to crimp it the traditional way. And I do this by pushing my thumb in between my index finger and my middle finger, just like that. I'm going to put this into the freezer or the refrigerator just to keep it cold. To make the filling for the pumpkin pie, um, you need one can of pureed pumpkin. This is 15 ounces. This is half a cup of packed brown sugar and a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. And our pumpkin pie spices, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. So start whisking that together. Okay, and you'll also need about half a teaspoon of salt. Two eggs. And then you'll want to add one and a quarter cups of half and half and whisk that in. And get our pie crust out of the refrigerator. So just pour your filling right into the pie crust. We'll put the pie into a preheated oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes, and then we'll reduce it to 350 degrees and let it bake for another 40 to 50 minutes. To make sure it's done, you can enter a knife right into the middle and the knife should come out clean. To finish off our pie, we're just going to put a little dollop of with cream in the middle, make it look a little prettier and taste better.
So for our sweet potatoes, I have here two sweet potatoes cut into about half to an inch thick. You're gonna to wanna to put that in a square of tin foil. And then all you do is you wrap it up into a neat little package and repeat with your remaining pieces. So these go into a 350 degree oven for 45 to 90 minutes or until they're tender. So to see if your potatoes are done, just put in a knife and when they're really soft, just like that, then you're ready. And then to serve, you just peel the sweet potato skin right off and then you can mash it right at the table. Thanks for watching us today. So from everyone at the quad, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.